Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Get your grappling hook because we got ourselves a roundabout trip to side quests of sorts. <laughs> So, uh, I'm gonna start, I guess, on the left side of this here, because, well, I guess I can just show you that there really isn't much to see here of all places, and you actually end up at a dead end there. So, the other side is that place that I would actually need to go to. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, um, none of this is really diggable. <laughs> so, don't worry about digging on top of the ice here. Alright, so, now, um, wait a second. Couldn't I just, like, isn't, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Alright, now up over here is also a whole lot of nothing, if I recall correctly, so I'm just basically showing you this for no reason whatsoever. The real prizes are down along the right side of this thing, so that is mainly what I'm going to be flopping around here to get, like say this right here. It's a power gem, but that's not all. <laughs> If we were to go, yeah, see, there's a chest over there, but there's another way up there. Well, two chests up there. There's another way up there by going up here, and then... Oh, shoot, I am too high! <laughs> and then we can cross over thusly, and now we can climb ye old posts by using ye old post climbing technique, and also grip onto the treasure chests. One is a red rupee, the other one is, I believe, more important. Oh, I guess it wasn't. I thought there was something more important there. Well, we got them nonetheless. <laughs> and where's the yooks around here? I thought they respawn somewhere around. Oh, there we go. Like, I thought there was a lot more around. <laughs> it just seemed like they're all hanging around the left side today for some reason. Alright, I believe that is all we can get here, so we're just going to trounce our way back through the cave here, and I guess chat with ye ol' Anukis, maybe, might be, because they might have new dialogue. Uh, maybe not? This actually works in my favor then. <laughs> yeah, I get it. i seen it. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't seem like they... Well, maybe the Island Chief will have more dialogue, but... Uh, uh, the reason why I'd like to go walk around through here is because there's stuff up here. So, yeah. Oh, Link, did the Azarine work for you? That's all you've got to say? Okay, that still works in my favor because that was a lot of dialogue to go through. <laughs> uh, well, first, I'm gonna get out my shovel here. Because there's stuff to dig out around... Well, actually, maybe I should still have this out. Yeah, because I still need to cross this to get to a digging spot here, and I can use that to get to the other side. But anyway, I want to dig right here. This is one of the few you'll see. It's a big gold ruby! Yes! It is humongously valuable! <laughs> Though not quite as valuable as... Oh, I should have just did this. But not quite as valuable as, say, a regal ring or something like that. But it's still a nice prize to see. Uh, oh yeah, I already did that one. That was the one that had I had to dig in front of the right sign. Alright, can I just like pull myself across here? Yes, I can! That is lovely. <laughs> and what does this have to say? Boing! He didn't boing! What? You know the old wafer who lives on Bannon Island? He buried something nice in front of his hut. Strange old men do strange things. So this is a thing. We've got to go to our sea chart to mark. And wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is it, right? Oh shoot! This. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! That's right. I can't click on it there. I have to click on it here. Uh, yeah. Okay. He built something in front of his hut, so I'm gonna just put a hole. I mean, a uh, circle there, and I'll be making holes there later. <laughs> I gotta go back to that island later, as you know. So yes. Now I'm gonna go over here, and guess what's in the middle of this one? Guess what's in the middle of this one? Is it a big yellow rupee? No, it's actually a treasure map. <laughs> Woohoo! So there be that right there. So be sure to go grab that. Well, unless your salvage arm is nearly wrecked. 
<laughs> all right, and that's basically all that I can get here, if I recall. Wait, 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 whoa, oh, 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 I almost forgot. Yeah, I almost forgot passing through here. Hey, there's a treasure chest there. <laughs> yeah, it's a wisdom gem, and that's pretty important not to miss. <laughs> uh, I believe there's also, yeah, there's that right there. Uh, oh, keep your distance, guy. Yeah, I'm Nobodo. Yeah, and I got no helps. And yeah, they call me No Abodo. Really clever, real clever. I got No Abode. Haha. <laughs> I <laughs> go on, laugh at my frozen tears. Actually, you know what? I like being sad, but what do you care? Why would you like to be sad? Why? You want something for me? Here's the, that's why you're here. Here's a secret for you. Anuki with houses bury stuff in front of the signs outside the houses. We Anuki are tricky like that. What? Forget it. I'm not saying anymore. Yeah, that's partially why I remember to come here. Go back to your stupid warm houses. I'm happy freezing out here. Okay, you, you be a happy camper there. So yeah, ones with signs in front of their houses, they got something. <laughs> so let's take a runzy around here. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Just five. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's not the prize that I was looking for there, but who knows, who knows. Wait a second, that counts as a sign. I need to go back up to the island chief. <laughs> and virtually everyone's got it. Ah, no! Virtually everyone has a sign in front of their house. No, stop! <laughs> so, it's like, holy moly. <laughs> so it's like, you can't go wrong with just digging in front of signs. Okay, there's six more signs to dig in front of here, I guess. And now, oh, nee. <laughs> big green rupee. Yes, we're the hundred. We know you don't have to tell us. No, oh, I'm tapping just a tad too high, and it's just killing my time. <laughs> ah, okay, relax, relax yourself. Just tap where you need to tap, and things will work out. Eh, nope, 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 wrong one, there we go, red rupee, and finally, blue rupee, so that's, that is definitely worth doing, and I have enough prizes to go and get something, something, back at a certain something island, well, you know, buying something in general, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff to buy still in the game, actually, so, I shouldn't say there's just one island, look at you, kid, so you finally got the pure metal, woohoo! This is no time to celebrate as if all our troubles are over! I won't rest until you find those three pure metals. Oh wait, was that him or her? I, I... Uh, uh... I think it was him, actually. I shouldn't have done her voice, but whatever! We are off to sea! <laughs> so, I'm not gonna go... Well, actually, I could go. Um... Well, I'll... Hmm... I should shortcut myself here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to my slates. Draw an Omega symbol, that might register. Sounds like it registered, because I want to go over to DS Island over here. Because there's something that I forgot over there that I was told about that makes perfect sense. So, I am going to- oh shoot, I am supposed to click this for my route. <laughs> DS Island, turn around, turn around, it's right there, yes! Woo! Um, what I'm supposed to do is blow at the microphone, or at least the position of where the microphone is on where a regular old DS fat would be. And by fat, I mean P-H-A-T because it's got awesome buttons. <laughs> I love clicky buttons on game controllers. Alright, so let's give our microphone, or I should say hotkey, a workout and go over to said microphone spot, which is right here. I believe I have it set to M. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, I, say, I switched my microphone when I switched the sound sample. I, it just m made more sense. And there's another big green rupee! Woohoo! I mean, a big gold rupee. I'm so used to saying green today, but it's gold. It's gold, I tell you. Alright, so that is... Uh-oh, I'm trapped. That's right, I gotta go up this way. <laughs> and now what I'm gonna do is warp over to Mercay Island. Well, warp as close as I can to Mercay Island and do a little bit of side questing there. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. We heard that dialogue before. And I also want to go to Mercay Island to buy something as well as getting the salvage arm fixed as well. Dang it, I am just... 
<laughs> oh wait, what am I doing? I, I want to go. I can't. I can't do anything right. I can't do anything right. <laughs> All right, so I'll do the that and go over to Murky Island. <laughs> oh, I'm just touching everywhere without really thinking about where I'm touching. That's uh, that could be construed as different things, but whatever, whatever. Murky Island, it is. And uh, I'm gonna probably end up cutting over to that because this is gonna take me a while and I'd rather go back from Ashu's house because there's something I want to see there. So yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hello. <laughs> Before I go over to Ashu's, I might as well do this. A Rue of the Anuki, the one we saved. The one was behind some sort of barrier we never seen. You guy, Link, it's me, Aru the Anuki. You really took care of me the other day. I gotta say I was touched. I don't remember giving you my address, so I'll forget it. Thanks to you, I got my life back. Literally, the world would have stopped if you hadn't done what you did. I'm sending a small token of my appreciation. I found it at the dump, but maybe you can use it. The real Aru. It's a Mr. Jam! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm good. And I guess I might as well not cut as long as I'm here. I mean, it, there's some stuff that I can do over here, and it'll just save me editing time. So, yeah. Let's just go into here and get our salvage arm fixed. Yup, yup, yup. Yes, it is. <laughs> Please do. I got plenty of salvage arm repair rupees. Thanks to all the treasures I've been getting. And now... Let's see what I can get in over here. Perhaps there is... No, there is not. <laughs> well, I can get the Zora scale, I guess. I don't remember if I got one of these before. Um, holy moly. Um, um, I'll think about that one. I don't really know if I can get turned much of a profit if I'm buying them. Because if I sell them for the 1500 if they're those sorts of things, and I don't remember if there's those sorts of things. Um, in fact, I'll check that right here. Whoops, 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 whoops. Collection. Um, 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 I forgot how to check. Um, 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 <laughs> still have Jolene's letter, by the way. <laughs> uh, maybe that's not... Mm, oh, right, no, wait, mm. Items? No, mm -mm. hmm. Maybe I absolutely have to go to that place, but I thought I could check the treasures that I had at any time. Uh, whatever. <laughs> well, let's just see here. Hi, hi, yes, 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 yes. Treasure, treasure. Yeah, I don't have a Zora scale, so that is probably something that I should get for the sake of filling out my thing. I guess maybe, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get one somewhere along the way. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Ashu's. Uh, did I dig by that tree? I don't remember if I did, but I'm pretty sure I did. It contains a treasure chart. But I may have forgotten to erase it from my map, so let's just see here. Yeah, I just forgot to erase it off my map, so let's get that out of the way here. This is why I don't like to forget erasing things. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I should also mark... There is a cave here, so that's two and two, there you go. That's a decent two on my first attempt there, but anyway, Ashu's. I want to chat with him. How's it going? <laughs> Sorry for keeping my secrets so long, Like Truly, I am the Ocean King. I didn't want to make waves, so to speak, not until the right time. And that is now, because you are our only hope. Let me share my wisdom. There's only way to def one way to defeat Bellum. You must get the Phantom Sword. We're all counting on you, Link. Oh yes, I was running around my storehouse and I found this. This is connected to the spirits. You should have it. Woo! Power Jam! I always got this one after the game. I get sent to it via, um, a, a, like a... I was gonna say email, but no, it's just a letter. Uh, but yeah, there's a certain time frame that you can get this during the main game, and otherwise I would get this post game, and I didn't know you can get this now, so thank you for telling me about that. Woohoo! These can bring out the full potential of the spirits. There are 20 spirit gems for each of the spirits, scattered far and wide. Find as many as you can, that will make you strong. As you can tell, I got uh, quite a few upgrades for spirits coming as my collecting streak, so that is definitely something that makes me happy. But when will I get to that? I'm not sure. <laughs> there's still 
a ways to go to get back to that corner of the island in terms of my side questing exploration. So, what I'm going to do here is not go there, but go somewhere else. And the, so that's somewhere else. I forgot what symbol I need to draw to get there. Uh, it's just because I've been waiting way, way, way too long to do this. And I'm kind of regretting waiting this long to do it. It's the ship hanging around this part here. And I think I'd actually be better off just sailing north through here rather than drawing the backwards end there. Come to think of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well... Well, no, maybe not. So let's just do my uh, backwards end. Oh, wait, wait! Backwards end. I'm still used to drawing a regular end. There we go. And then I'll sail south to the Traveler ship. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do the Traveler ship because I'm probably just gonna end up cutting ahead on that. Uh, because I just feel it's gonna be a whole lot easier and I'll get those other X's another time when I pass through here again. I know I'm really disorganized by doing so in, in such a manner, but... I really, really want to get this out of the way and salvaging for treasures takes a little while, so I figured I'll do a loop-de-loop -loop going around the islands thusly uh, later on in the future to do my collections and whatnot. So yeah, let's just go on ahead here and see what's be going on here at this very familiar looking traveler ship if you should have uh, played Wind Waker before this. So let's get a good look at this traveler ship here. What do you see? What does the shape look like? Well, if you thought it looked like the King of Red Lions, you would be correct. <laughs> look at that. Only it's not quite the King of Red Lions, it's something else. There's crows all around the perimeter that you can scare away. <laughs> okay, I'm done here. And look at this guy, suspiciously dressed like Link. Are you Tingle? Oh, never mind. Hmm, say, I can't help but notice. You're just exactly like me. Or is it the other way around? Oh, whatever. Are you a fan of mine? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't surprise me in the least to meet a fan. I travel the world on my Prince of Red Lion ship to save all things from evil. Yes, you heard me right. It's what you would... I'm what you would call a hero. <laughs> so you want my autograph? Um... Uh... I don't know, it'll give me more dialogue. I'll say no. Don't act tough. You do want an autograph? No. Don't act tough. You okay, yes. <laughs> oh no, I'm afraid I've run out of autograph paper. So very sorry. I know this can't take the place of my autograph, but... Well, based on the way you're dressed, I'm quite sure you're an admirer. Don't worry, I understand. I'll make you my apprentice. A hero's apprentice. What more could a fan hope for? Uh... Not much. Very good. <laughs> it's decided then. What's your name, kid? Link, huh? Link, you are now a hero's apprentice. Ah. Study and learn the dashing ways of the hero and remember to stay cool. Got a mini game for me? Same, my faithful apprentice. Link, want me to train you in the art of swordsmanship? Sure. Very well. You and I will meet in battle. I'll check to see how much skill you have. Haja! Come at me with your finest moves, my young apprentice. Uh, my young apprentice. So, what you want to do is attack him. Yeah, um as quick as you can, and that's it. <laughs> it really is that quick. Yeah, And yeah, it's done. Huh? <laughs> Let's leave it at that for the day. Your skills will never improve if you overdo it. I must admit, the fact that you made contact a total of six times, that's an appropriate skill level for the, hero, uh, for the apprentice of a healer. Keep it up, my apprentice Link. Put your hand out for a second. And I get a Zora scale. Oh, the very expensive Zora scale, so I didn't manage to get one this part. <laughs> Luckily for me, this is a gifting honor of the sudden tears you shed in battle. It's something big, but it might come in handy at a later time. Got anything else? Your current best is six hits. Your title is officially apprentice to the hero. Say dashing. Stay elegant and keep your cool link. So yeah, you gotta leave here and come back again. The fourth time we leave and come back, we'll be able to uh I'll be able to do a rigmarole, a mini game of sorts here. That we gotta hit him a hundred times. Yeah. Yeah. Can I like. No, I'm not far enough away. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh shoot. No, I want to just. Just route and go. Sail the seven seas and all like that. But yeah, I gotta come back here three more times. And then I'll be able to do. A different sort of kind of mini game of sorts 
and I think I'll be able to come back here right away just by moving away and then turning back around. Oh, oh there's Jolene. <laughs> I wonder if I should meet up with her somewhere along this part too, but eh, I don't know. Let's just let's just see if this will reset first of all. I'm pretty sure it will. How's it going? This is number two. Oh, it's you. And how are you? Want me to treat you? Yes, I would like that. I'll oppose you. Let's just test how much your skills have improved. Hacha! Come at me from all directions with all the skill you can muster. Hua! That! That's it! Ha! 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 Alright, I think that's enough. <laughs> your skills will never improve if you overdo it. I must admit the fact that at one time. Uh huh, half hero. Alright. And I get a prize for that too. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm basically going through these as quick as possible, but it's still... It's still something pretty tedious, but nothing is more tedious in the game than the minigame that is over here. Uh, when you come back here the fourth time. So I'm gonna do this rigmarole of leaving, then coming back, and then we'll see how things go. Approaching Jolene! Approaching Jolene! Get to the ship as quickly as possible before she makes a cutscene! Okay, there we go. I'll be able to get a cutscene with her uh, the next time I come around. Oh, uh, it's you. Uh huh, huh, good. Yes, yes, yes. Third time. Here we go. Let's do it. We know the dialogue. You've improved! You've improved greatly! And thus, you haven't really improved that much, though. <laughs> but. Fifteen times, two-thirds of a hero. <laughs> but, I get a prize too! Just for playing it again, yeah. Now the fourth time is the long one. Ugh. <laughs> uh, it's coming. But first, an encounter with Jolene. Routes. Jolene, here we come! <laughs> Whoops, I'm turning the camera the wrong way. Jolene, no, no, come back here. You're going the wrong way. I want to encounter you. For once, kinda, uh, well, maybe I'm not gonna be able to now. She decided to do a hard turn, yeah. <laughs> it's fine, I'll encounter her many more times along the way. I'm just kinda improvising as I go. Uh, but okay, here we go. The mini game I've been dreading because it's just so dang tedious. <sighs> here we go. Oh, it's you. And how are you? Yes. Well then, let us meet in battle. How many times can you make contact before I strike you three times? And this is the minigame. But if you're too aggressive and strike him three times, you know, strike him directly, not his spear, uh, he'll end off the minigame. So, not only do you have to be patient, because you can't just whack at him ridiculously quick, as you've seen, because he's not that good of a spearsman, but you also gotta avoid his hits, for three times, so it's like a double game of patience here. So, but you can tell rather easily when he's going to be thrusting at you. But it's just a thing of that this takes forever and a half, and it's very easy to accidentally hit him by going a little bit too aggressively here. So only do a couple of strikes here at a time, and uh, well, maybe this won't take as long as I thought it will because I can do multiple strikes per per pass through here. But it's still still overly tedious, and this, if you don't recognize it, is basically the same minigame as... Oh, poopers. Yeah, this is... it's gonna be annoying. It's <laughs> This is basically the same minigame of the Swordmaster in... Uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing terribly, but it's just so, so patience-riddled. <laughs> Can I just, like, do that in the corner there all day long? I would like to do that. But basically, as I was saying, it's the same mini-game of the same, well, of the Swordmaster in Wind Waker that you gotta do a hundred times, only it's longer there. It's just not my favorite sort of mini-game, because it's not really difficult unless you are, oh shoot, unless you're not paying attention like I was, only 50 times. I do more sit-ups than that before I'm even awake. You should be able to hit me at least a hundred times. So yeah, let's just try this again here. Uh-huh, yes, okay, so yeah, it's it's also easy to fail at this because, well, yeah, if, if you aren't attacking him aggressively enough, he's he's just gonna, yeah, he's gonna smack at you with spear, and yeah, I just like to hit him a bunch of times and let him s spear, um, you know, just like give him some recovery time here, and then 
just kind of do the rigmarole here, and I, I it just it just stinks when you fail at this too, because sometimes it just happens because he spears a lot quicker than you're expecting, and yeah, like like that sort of spearing, it doesn't get really give you a tell as to when he's gonna be spearing there. So, you just gotta kinda let him do his thing at a distance, and then close in and do some more hits on him, without being too aggressive, because if you're a bit too aggressive, then, yeah, he takes a hit, and then he's not gonna be happy about that, and he'll eventually quit on you. <laughs> so, you gotta hold back on him, but at the same time, you can't go too weak in your aggression, because he's just gonna be spearing you all the time, and... Yeah, it's just a balancing act of annoyingness, and it takes quite a while to do, and it's just not the most fun of mini-games. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get like 101, and then end it off here, and ah, uh, You and your sneaky, non-telling spear attacks, I swear to Arceus, if you knock me out of the game again, and I have to redo this from the start, I will not be a happy camper in the slightest. Oh no, you don't- you are not allowed to bump me. There is no bumping allowed in this game. You just do your thrusting, and I will do my attacks. And no, 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 you don't- mm. Mm. This is what I mean about this game. Eh. Okay, well, maybe he gives a- a decent tell when I keep attacking him like this, like maybe he won't spear out randomly without giving a tell. Oh shoot, oh shoot! <laughs> 20 more hits, 20 more hits. Can I do this? And I'm, I was so tempted to cut ahead here, but at the same time, this minigame is so stupid that I, I thought I would show it, the in, it in its entirety here. <laughs> and you don't even get any special music for this either, it's just so... So sad. No, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no. Two, three, four. Okay, hit me one more time. Hit me one more time. Thank you. <laughs> 101 hits. Remarkable. I'm impressed with your skills and rather exhausted, actually. Here, put your hand out. And there we go. I got the heart container. Finally. And now you see why I didn't want to do this earlier. <laughs> That's a gift in honor of the Sutton Tears you shed in battle. It's something big, but it might come in handy at a later time. Now, I believe if you replay this minigame and tie or beat your high score, you can get ship parts. But do you really want to get ship parts this way? Do you really? My answer is no. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue on my side questing quest throughout the entire world of the Ocean King.